Yo, yo, Josh, yo, it has been a while since I've given you guys a proper tutorial and this one is a banger. I don't use songs when I edit, I use stems. A stem is basically the ingredients to the song, the bass, drums, instrument, and melody, all broken down onto separate tracks. You can move things around, you can duck out annoying vocals or maybe a melody that's ruining a really good beat. You got a lot of flexibility, but the best part is this can help you with your filmmaking by using music to guide the story. And that's a big difference between using songs and stems. Songs, you're kind of editing around the song with a stem, you're manipulating the song to work with the edit. We're using Epidemic Sound for this episode. I think they have the best curated music selection, but more importantly, they're one of the few royalty-free music companies that allow you to download the stems. So this will work in any editing program. In this demo, I'm using Premiere Pro. We want to stack them on top of each other perfectly so they play back at the same exact time. So you'll notice we now have four tracks instead of one, and this can get confusing quick. So a little trick I found is to color code them visually with labels. Bass is blue, percussion is purple, instruments are iris, and melody is mango. You'll notice I also bring a copy of the full mix down there as well. This is always muted, but it's great if I ever need to reference the mixed song. Now, music creators will use this in remastering and music production, but editors get a chance to use this as a way to compose. Here, I'll show you an example. Okay, so here's an episode that I'm working on right now. This is the intro part, and here we can see I have dialogue up here. This is like my voiceover dialogue section. Today, we jailbreak the Inspire and here, down here, we have the song that I want to use, and here are all the stems. So I'm going to play the intro with the song, and we're going to get into some trouble right around here because there are competing vocals that are burned into the song on the instrument track. So let's take a listen, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Today, we jailbreak the Inspire 2 to fly any lens up to 4 inches long and 400 grams, which includes these pocket anamorphic lenses from Laowa, or my new favorite lens, this Sure anamorphic 1.6 stretch full frame lens. Also, these vintage lenses. Why these vintage lenses? Because these are telephoto lenses. An 85 millimeter Jupiter 9 and a 135 Olympus Zuiko. And last but not least, my favorite, these. So you see this section right here, there's these the, I don't know if they're backup vocals, but there's some extra vocals that are burned into the instrument track that are just a little bit distracting. Now, I can probably just globally duck this down even more, but it takes away a lot of the heart of the song. Instead of doing it that way, which you could do, this way is a little bit more precise, plus you learn a little bit more about music. So here, now all of them are active. This one I'm not even using, so we'll just mute that entirely. We have the bass, drums, and instrument right here. And you can see I've kind of notched them as needed. So it, it boosts up and dips down as needed. So now let's listen to it. Today, we jailbreak the Inspire 2 to fly any lens up to four inches long and 400 grams, which includes these pocket anamorphic lenses from Laowa. or my new favorite lens, this Sure anamorphic 1.6 stretch full frame lens. Also, these vintage lenses. Why these vintage lenses? Because these are telephoto lenses. An 85 millimeter Jupiter 9 and a 135 Olympus Zuiko. And last but not least, my favorite, these incredibly low light F095 lenses, which are unimaginably bright. Holy shit, we're overexposed. Perfect. So I do use the full song at the end as it's supposed to be mixed because I don't have any more dialogue past this. Low light F095 lenses, which are unimaginably bright. Holy shit, we're overexposed. Also, this is kind of fun. This is just a little riser. F095 lenses, which are unimaginably bright. Holy shit, we're overexposed. Boom, that's how it's done. That's an interesting example because the vocals are on the instrument track. Epidemic Sound does provide instrument only versions of songs. If you were trying to find a song that had lyrics on top, 
Epidemic Sound actually separates those two. So you can just go find the artist, find that song, and then there's gonna be two versions of that track. But if they don't have that, now you know how to get rid of those vocals. A very powerful tool, and it's probably some of the most fun that I have in editing, but also to get a really good understanding of scoring for, for films. This is actually gonna be the closest you can get without having any background in music or in music composition. So another great trick for stems is the illusion of making a single song work over and over again for a video, but without fatiguing the audience with the same instruments and melody. You can thin it out during times when it doesn't need to be full blast, and it almost sounds as if it was composed. Instead of using that again, you see the stems up here, I'm just gonna take the bass and the drums. So here we've laid down the bass. Let's take a listen where it's at. A simple oversight. I forgot to balance the top and bottom. So currently when you tilt the gimbal down, it's not balanced. So it's working, it's giving that building sensation, but it's not hitting it with the same instruments and melodies, right? Here's the original song, the full mix. And here's just the bass. Right, it kind of works. It sounds similar, but it doesn't sound like you just hit the remix button and made the one song 12 minutes long. I think I'm gonna add the drums to add a little bit of tempo to it. So what we're gonna do is because we need to line these up perfectly, I'm gonna hit F and I now we have where this exact playhead is. I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna go to the drums, pull that up here and I'm gonna paste this. So now it's at the exact spot in the song right here. I'm gonna hit I for insert, and then I'm gonna drag this down here. These now match up. So let's reduce this a little bit, and let's play it back. Let's see what it sounds like. A simple oversight. I forgot to balance the top and bottom. So currently, when you tilt the gimbal down, it's not balanced. This is an easy fix with the putty. If we remove a strip from the rear bottom and put it towards the rear top, the same amount of weight stays. All right, so the, the percussion is a little bit loud, so I'm gonna bring this way down, probably negative 20. Simple oversight. I forgot to balance the top and bottom. So currently, when you tilt the gimbal down, it's not balanced. This is an easy fix with the putty. If we remove a strip from the rear bottom and put it towards the rear top, the same amount of weight stays on the rear, only now it evens out the top and bottom. So when the lens is placed vertically, it stays balanced. All right, and we're gonna do it one more time. This time, let's find either the instruments or the melody. I basically want a little tail end right in here so it, it like ramps us up into the next section. So let's go into the melody. We have that time code. I'll do the same thing again. I'll, I'll create a new time code here. And where is this at in the time code? 142. Copy that. And we'll go to instruments. And let's see what the melody is. All right, let's try this. 142. We'll hit insert. Oh, this is perfect. This will work. So bring that down here. Let's zoom in, make sure that these are lined up. Let's play it back a few seconds. Stays on the rear, only now it evens out the top and bottom. So when the lens is placed vertically, it stays balanced. Ah, that's beautiful. You see what I'm talking about now? We are now making the song work for the edit. We're not editing the footage around the song. We just completely engineered that ending there. And it, we got lucky, it worked, it was great. If you guys wanna see that episode that's coming out later this week, I've been working on that one for a while. I got a ton of videos coming out that I've just been like trying to birth all of them. So there are so many choices for royalty-free music these days. I have been with Epidemic Sound for five years, and I personally just think that they have the best selection of music. Trust me, I've been offered to jump ship and go to other places. I'm not leaving. 
I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. Come on over. Epidemic Sound is offering a month trial free. I would recommend check out the ambient section. That's where I get a lot of my inspiration from. And they also have dope sound effects. So like that riser. Plus, I think every royalty-free music company should be offering stems. If, if they are not, then they are doing something wrong. Anyway, guys, this is Josh Yo saying thank you very much. Stay creative. Go make some art. I'm not fucking leaving. Yeah.